So we're starting the day off with old Coco getting a tow as she is no longer running at all. Bye bye Coco, we'll miss you, bye. So I thought I'd just quickly check in tonight <clears throat> before the day finishes up completely. Um, catches up with what happened today. It's been an actual chill day, unlike the hangover day where we ended up walking something like 30 kilometers, which is the most we've done for, like since I've been on this trip, and that was going to be a chill day. But anyway, um, what's happened? So Coco got taken to the mechanics um, on the tow truck, and I basically just stayed at Dave and Shandy's place, um, editing videos for almost the whole day, while Hamish went off and went to the mechanics and had a good chat with him. Absolute awesome bloke that's going to be working on the car, his name's Peter, um, he's been working on, like, Land Rover, the military Land Rovers for yonks, and so he knows everything that he's doing. Um, as well as going to fix up a few other things. Um, the swivel joint in the hubs, he's going to swap out um, <coughs> the oil with grease, which is apparently um, a good sort of modification to make. Um, what else was he going to do? So he's changing the gearbox, obviously, for us, because that's why the car's there. Um, there was a couple of things he was going to do. He's cutting out some of the thermostat, which is meant to make the engine run a little bit hotter, but it doesn't restrict the water, so it makes it run smoother. Um, there was one other modification that I heard. Oh, he recommended that we get a second um, fuel filter and jerry rig a lineup from the bypass, so that if the fuel does bypass from there being water or something in the line, which could happen with the shitty fuel that we get up the cape. Um, the bypass fuel doesn't get into the motor and wreck it. It has to go through another filter. Um, so we'll do that. Um, but yeah, so Hamish has been off for uh, organising accommodation. I'm currently chilling out at what's this hotel called? City Oasis, courtesy of RACQ. We've got a rental car and accommodation here until Friday because that's when Peter thinks that he will have finished the work on the car. Um, snorkel getting made up is... We just need to confirm with the guy who, who's... He's made up the bracket for the snorkel to come out of the car. Um, it's just how we want it. Um, he, he's made, got it made up so when it comes out of the bonnet, it's done. We just need to confirm as to what we want it to do when it comes out of the bonnet we want it to go straight up and we put a ram mount, like a safari ram mount thing on top or whether we get him to bend the pipe backwards, I can do a 90 degree bend backwards and have it facing backwards not as high um, then wheels are getting worked on um, so we should have them in the next couple of days too But um, yeah, so we've left Dave and Shandy's place, I'm probably going to be heading back there on Friday to give them a big cook up um, to thank them for their hospitality which was be which has been excellent I'm so glad that we had someone to say like everything about coming down to Townsville has been great, being able to catch up with my brother sort out the car and see some excellent stuff around here so even though we're backwards from the planned trip <laughs> flew into Cairns and we planned to head north and counterclockwise and now we're down south so, it doesn't always go as planned, but at least we're having fun anyway. Good fun too, but yeah. Anyway, so, not only is the gearbox getting done quicker, it's also going to be getting done for cheaper, which is great, but getting done quicker means, like, yeah, we're going to be able to actually start the trip um, in the next couple of days, which will be good. But yeah, so today's been pretty chill, just editing videos all day while Hamish has been sorting out car stuff. Um, probably going to head back inside and catch up, catch myself up on some Dragon Ball Z now that I have um, Wi-Fi here at this hotel. Should be good. Uh, 
in terms of plans for tomorrow, I think we're we're thinking about heading to um, the largest freefall waterfall in Australia, but I'm not sure whether we're going to do that tomorrow or the day after. But we'll be doing that um, one of the days. But, um, yeah, who knows? Let's see what happens. Anyway, catches.